If you all thought that multiplication is easy, wait till we discuss the properties of multiplication. It is super duper easy. This concept is extremely similar to the properties of addition. If you haven't seen that video yet, go click the i button now. Let's understand the properties of multiplication using an example. What is 5 multiplied by 4? 20, right? But what is 4 multiplied by 5? Isn't that 20 as well? This is known as the commutative property of multiplication, which states that even if the digits move to a different position, the product remains the same. Next up is the associative property of multiplication. Just like the name suggests, changing the grouping of the factors in the product does not change the final result. In simpler terms, how we associate the numbers in the brackets does not have an effect on the result. Here's an example. What is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 but the 3 and 4 are in brackets. That is 24, right? But what if we change the position of the brackets or group the numbers in a different manner? Say 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4 but this time it's 2 and 3 which are in the brackets. Even that's 24. See? The result in both the cases is the same. Hence, we can associate the numbers differently to still achieve the same product. The third property is extremely simple. And you all know it already. If I give you a big number, say 7547 multiplied by 1, would you know the answer? Haha, <laughs> that was a trick question. The answer is 7547 itself. Do you know why? Any number multiplied by 1 is that number itself. This property is called the identity property of multiplication, which claims that any number multiplied by 1 is that number itself. Moving towards the fourth and the last property of multiplication. It is the distributive property. Let's pay more attention to this one. You know what? Because it might come handy to you while multiplying large numbers. Let's understand this with an example. Take 15 multiplied by 3. You know that the answer is 45, right? But if you find it difficult to multiply 15 by 3, that's okay. I will teach you a much simpler method to find the answer. In this case, you can distribute 15 into 10 plus 5 and then perform the multiplication. Let's see how this is done. We can do 10 multiplied by 3 plus 5 multiplied by 3. So here, 10 multiplied by 3 is 30 and 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. When we add 30 and 15, our answer is 45. See, isn't that easy? This property of multiplication can help you solve large sums without taking much time. That was all for the lesson today guys. If you all want to practice what you have learned, click on the worksheet link in the description. And to learn math in a simple way, book a free demo with Banzu. Until then, like, share and subscribe to the channel and join the Banzu revolution.